Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how I do my black tea rinse. Um, so I do this when I have excessive shedding and I use about two cups of water and then I pour that into a small pot, turn it on high, and then I grab my black tea bag. So I use about five tea bags. I know it may seem excessive, but I like it very potent, very strong to really decrease my shedding. So I leave that to heat. Once it boils, I then turn down the stove and then I set it aside to cool and steep overnight. So it's the next day and my black tea is nice and cool. It's well concentrated, just the way I like it. So now I pour the tea into a small spray bottle just so I can have easy access to my scalp. So I'm about nine to 10 weeks post relaxer. I have quite a bit of new growth. Um, so I'm gonna shampoo first, that way I have a nice clean scalp before I apply my black tea rinse. And of course, I'm gonna be using my Care Care Hydrating Anti-Tangling Shampoo. I adore this stuff. Um, I have a dedicated video on this exact shampoo as to why I love it and the ingredients, all that good stuff on my channel. I'll also leave the link down below in the description box in case you're interested. But I'm just gonna lather my hair twice um, with this shampoo just to ensure that it's thoroughly cleansed and ready to go. Yeah, so lately I've been shedding a little bit more than usual, I would say. Uh, I know that we typically shed anywhere from about 50 to 100 strands per day, but for some reason I'm noticing a little bit more than that. But typically in this case, I always do my black tea rinse. It never fails me. Um, I always achieve great results, meaning less shedding. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do it. It's packed with tons of benefits for your hair, um, and my routine is pretty simple. So yeah, let's get into it. So I t-shirt dried for about 15 minutes and I use that same t-shirt to catch any excess tea that may fall. So here's my black tea rinse. I'm going to spray this all throughout my scalp in sections and just massage thoroughly with my fingers. Um, that way everywhere is covered and it can penetrate into my scalp. So if you're not familiar with what a black tea rinse is, it basically consists of using a caffeinated tea applying it directly to your scalp and leaving it on anywhere from about 20 to 45 minutes, I would say. That's it. Super easy, super effective. Um, you can use either black tea, coffee, green tea. It all depends on your preference. But I prefer to use black tea only because it has a higher concentration of caffeine. And caffeine, you guys, is the main ingredient here. So if you're not aware, caffeine is actually what helps to block DHT, which is a hormone found in both males and females. And it's responsible for hair loss, unfortunately. Um, but studies have shown that if it's applied, caffeine, if it's applied directly to the scalp, like topically, it actually helps to block DHT in the follicles and it helps to promote hair growth, which is amazing. So with that being said, caffeine is a stimulant, so it increases blood circulation to the hair follicles, which is super important. Um, it helps to move nutrients to the hair roots, resulting in healthier hair. So don't sleep on your black tea rinses, guys. It's packed with benefits. So not only does it prevent hair loss and shedding, but it promotes hair growth, it strengthens your hair, it actually tints your hair a darker color, which is super beneficial, um, and it also gives your hair a fuller, thicker appearance, so it's a win-win. So I'm done. I applied my tea, massaged it in thoroughly, and I'm gonna leave this on for 45 minutes. Okay, so I rinsed out the tea and I quickly conditioned with my Aussie Moist. Black tea tends to have a drying effect on the hair, so I just wanted to soften it up a bit. So now I'm going to deep condition with my Silk Elements Strength and Silk Cholesterol. You guys, I adore this conditioner, especially when I'm stretching my relaxer, as it's super thick, as you guys can see. And now I'm gonna use some castor oil, maybe about a teaspoon. I just eyeballed it. And I'm gonna mix this up and apply it directly to my hair from roots to ends. So I did one side and now I'm just gonna finish the other side. So after doing a black tea rinse, you'll probably notice a little bit of tangles, a little bit of roughness to your hair. 
And that's completely normal because that's what the caffeine does. So caffeine increases the secretion of water in our bodies, right? So the same thing basically applies to our hair as well. So deep conditioning is vital. I'm going to say that again. <laughs> I sound like a broken record, but that's okay. You need to deep condition after a black tea rinse. Um, so you notice that I conditioned and then I deep conditioned right after because I did feel a difference in my hair. It did feel stronger, um, but I had to replenish the lost moisture and just the softness in my hair by deep conditioning. So using a moisture rich deep conditioner, I would say is the best thing to do. Uh, and that's why I pulled out my old school staple, my Silk Elements cholesterol. Love this stuff. I used to use it very early on in my hair journey. And I'm kind of happy that I circled back to it because it just softens my hair perfectly, especially like right now when I'm stretching my relaxer. Um, yeah, so it just tames my new growth. My hair feels silky. It feels smooth when using it. So I finished applying my deep conditioner in sections from roots to ends and now I'm going to go under heat. So I covered my hair with a plastic bag and I'm going to go under my hooded dryer um, under medium heat for about 25 minutes. So I rinsed out my deep conditioner and I t-shirt dried for about 15 minutes or so. You guys, my hair feels so good right now. It feels so soft, it feels smooth, it just feels really conditioned. So I'm gonna use my So Much Moisture hair lotion kinda as a leave-in conditioner and just massage that through um, from my roots all the way down to my ends. And then I'm gonna detangle with my wide tooth comb from my ends all the way up. So now I'm gonna do my scarf method and you guys know I love and swear by this method, especially when I'm stretching my relaxers. Um, it's my go-to. So this helps to tame my hairline and just lay down my new growth perfectly. So I do this while I air dry and then I smooth the back with my fingers periodically uh, just to help smooth my hair and make it nice and straight while it's drying. All right guys, so wash day is done and my hair is still pretty damp, but this is what it looks like so far. I would say it's about 80% dry right now. So this is all the hair that I lost during today's wash day. It's a little bit more than usual. So I'm gonna just give my hair some time to respond to the black tea treatment. And hopefully by the end of the week, I'll see some positive results. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment down below if you've used black tea rinses in your regimen, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.